Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hype Gazette, here with my next video, and finally got my first Town Hall 10 3 star. We're gonna take a look at it in just a moment. I wanna first give a few words on this war because I'm not making a war recap video. Uh, the war was just a uh, 15 v 15 war. You can see we got all their Town Hall 9s, and they had some weird, like, I mean, take a look at some of this stuff. They had their lower Town Hall 8s were like non non bases, just like the town hall. These were just, this was a weird clan, so uh, kind of not the most fun war. But the reason it's so small is because uh, one hive alpha is going on their one hundredth win. Uh, they have that going on right now, and uh, I don't know how it's going, but I'll let you guys know how it did end up going once I hear. Uh, but it looks like it might already be over by now. Actually, I sh I should check in. I'm a little bit out of the uh, out of the know right now. But anyway, uh, I'll let you guys know about that. You can see they put up a pretty good fight. They got all the low stuff three-starred, and then they got me three-starred. Their number one came in. I'm still kind of a Town Hall 9 defense-wise. Don't have any real uh, defenses that have been upgraded or anything. Just a few extra traps. And uh, besides that, they left a few other bases. And uh, we're going to take a look at my attack on two, though. And this is a fr uh, not a fresh hit. Uh, there was a Town Hall 9 that hit it before me, who uh, showed the trap locations. But uh, just looking at what I have real quick, uh, where I'm at as far as Town Hall 10 goes, I have the all the spells, so obviously have my fifth spell slot, uh, slot, whatever you want to call it. I have 11 spell space, and then I have the Max Falks now. I have, I have Max Hogs, but I'm not using them. And then uh, I have an extra 10 troop space. So I'm halfway there, I'm at 2.30. Uh, so the other two army camps are going right now. And once I have the 2.40, I think I'll be a lot more stronger still. But anyway, looking at this base, pretty solid Town Hall 10. It has the uh, point defense here and there upgraded, but has the level two infernos and the heroes in the walls are no joke. And uh, not that the walls make a huge difference, but right here, huge wall breaker fail. I brought a lot of wall breakers because I want to break into three separate areas. The first set was supposed to let my queen in, but they didn't get the job done, and I think that expo got them. So the queen uh, is not going to actually enter the base right here, but you'll see in just a moment, um, as soon as the gold mine goes down, she starts beating on the wall, which typically really frustrates me. But here, this is a good thing, because I want her to enter in the base here. What I'm doing is creating a funnel for my Valks on each side. I'm coming with a golem at the bottom here. The idea is just to take out some more... Uh, defenses and trash buildings on the other side so I can send my Valks in on the right side. Uh, so there goes the Golem. I did kind of run low on wall breakers because of that first wall breaker fail. So the Valks do have to kind of beat their way through the wall, but no big deal there. The jumps can go down in just a moment. And on the bottom, I didn't quite get the entire funnel. So a few Valks do start running on me. Uh, actually, in my King too, go to the bottom. But I'm just going to use all my spells here. You can see how much is in that core. I'm going to be dropping two freeze, a rage, a heal, a poison, and uh, and I had a haste farther back, but just smothering these troops. A uh, few Valks ended up going back into the core, and they get through it so quickly with all like all of my spells concentrated in that core. Those level 5 Valks clear it out so fast. Now this is a little bit trickier because the core is gone, but I still have this uh, semicircle of defenses. Right here, I dropped this one wizard on the archer tower in the minion because it was... Uh, uh, the archer tower was on my king, so got a free defense there pretty much. My queen is still making her way through, and that's kind of what I think is important to have because once you get the infernos down, if your Valks can just get that main core with all the big damage dealers in there, especially on these type of like bases that you see so often, this is a very common base. Uh, when that happens and the Valks can get that job done, the queen, if she's still up with her healers, uh, stands a very good chance of taking out the rest of the base if you have enough time and I have just enough here starting to drop in these supplementary archers and uh, a minion I have in a moment and that's just to try to speed things up don't want them to get targeted by defenses but there's a few places I can drop them yeah, to get started on some of these buildings make it a little bit quicker so pop the queen's ability just to get some more damage going I was getting low on time I think there's a probably like a four or five second difference between the timer you see here and the timer that was going for me during the live attack so was a very close attack but right here the queen's gonna get that last cannon and then uh, get that dark barracks so 
That's my first Town Hall 10 3 star. Hope you guys like the attack. Once again, thanks for the support, um, helping me get up here and getting my upgrades going. Really appreciate it. And uh, hopefully I'll be 3 starring some even higher level bases in some higher stakes wars. But that's going to do it for this video. Like I said, no, no recap of the war, but other videos coming out about other Clash of Clans things. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectron out.